Welcome to race day, Freya. One, a turn to water, and then can I also do a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew? Can I get two caramel in that and two honey blend in that? Ah. I almost knocked my water over. Good morning and happy <laughs> October day eight. It is 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I stopped at Starbucks, of course, to get my coffee, a water, and Freya a pup cup. So we're starting the morning off right. I'm taking Freya with me to my event this weekend, so this is gonna be like real interesting in how this goes. I have not taken her to an event since she was nine months old because of that entire fiasco. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch her nine month pup date. So we're gonna try this out and I'm hoping that she has grown a little bit, you know, matured. We will see how this goes. Are you ready, Freya? It's gonna be dark for quite some time. Music first. What's a road trip without music? Is it country kind of day? Marissa listening to country? <laughs> We made it to the first stop of the morning and it is 8.15 in the morning. It was about an hour and a half, hour 45 drive. Little miss just slept the whole way. Then I got your little booty. She does really good in the car, thank God. Unless you remember her as like an itty bitty little puppy. She hated being in the car. Every time I put her in here as like a puppy, you know, like after like eight weeks old, literally. Every time she'd get in here, she'd pee in the back and poop in the back. We have grown <laughs> since then. <laughs> but this event is an all weekend event. Most of my events are, they're like two day events kind of thing. And this is basically like the farthest that we have to drive and the earliest we'll have to be here. So we're getting a hotel tonight and I just checked us in. That was like the first stop that we needed to make. Funny story about that though. <laughs> My job is to, you know, get people where they need to be for events and everything, including hotels and stuff. So I book hotels for everyone. And I went to go book the hotel rooms and I got, you know, the one room that I needed. Um, and then I went to go book myself a room. And as soon as I like booked that one, paid for it, went back to go get the other one, there were no more rooms. Thank goodness I'm only like 30 ish minutes away from my parents' house. And so I will be staying at their house tonight with Freya because I couldn't find myself a hotel room. My text should be pulling up soon. I have to give them their keys. They're gonna drop their bags and stuff like that upstairs before we head to our event. We made it. Happy race day. Oh my goodness. Welcome to race day, Maria.
event was a success. Oh my goodness. The sun is setting. So you have this nice little lens flare here, but the event went so well. Freya did so good. Obviously this is just day one. We have day two tomorrow. So hopefully she can like keep it up for another day um, and also go to or stay at my parents' house tonight. So hopefully she does well there. She's never been there. So overall the day and this adventure is not over yet, but I, I definitely want to give you all a bigger rundown. I just need to drive home or drive to my parents' house. I need to grab food first. And then I want to give you the entire rundown and also show you guys what I packed for Freya because I brought a lot. It's like a whole baby bag. Like you would think I have like six children. So when I get to my parents' house, we'll unpack everything and do a little, you know, what I pack for my dog for a weekend. <laughs> what are you doing? Excuse me. I gotta show everybody what's in your bag. <laughs> Touch. Sit. Lay down. Good girl. Alrighty, we're gonna ignore the fact that my hair looks atrocious, but if I keep the hat on, then you can't really see my face. So after pre-ride day, I immediately just knocked out as soon as I got back to my parents' house because I was so tired from the day that I never went over what was inside Freya's bag and I told you guys I would. Thankfully, I have not unpacked it yet. So we're gonna go through everything that I packed for Freya for an event weekend or essentially like if I were to go camping or whatever kind of thing. This is what I packed for Freya. One, I have her blankie. This is just a normal blanket, but I like on the ground for her if it's like I don't know cold or whatever I wasn't sure what the weather was gonna be like so I definitely brought this bigger blanket um I also bring it because it gets dirty of course like if she eats a peanut butter Kong which is what she had here I'm also looking for it but she has already like started chewing up this blanket so this is just her designated like event blanket now this of course is in no particular order either I'm just pulling stuff out I know you want these these are some treatos these are the kiwi kitchens fish skin treats these are raw freeze-dried it's a single ingredient and treat super amazing super super good Freya loves them huh paw thank you other paw thank you later thank you good girl What's not gonna be in here anymore, but there's empty bags, is that I brought individually like baggied, measured out like food for her for like breakfast and dinner, breakfast and dinner kind of thing. So, you know, there's like four bags in here somewhere of like her breakfast and dinner food. I always bring her treat pouch with me. This is the one that I really, really love. I got it off of Amazon. I will link like the storefront down below. I have like a whole folder of all the things. Gorly, lay down. I have a folder of all the things that I bought for you off Amazon. Um, it's called like puppy stuff. So you can always look up anything that I've gone off Amazon is on there. Normally I have a canteen water bottle for Freya, like the bottom unscrews and it acts as a bowl and then all of her water sits in the canteen. I usually use that for her. However, it was packed away when I was going to this event. So I just brought like a normal bowl for her water, but I do have something like super fancy, I guess, not really fancy, but better that I normally bring with me that I didn't bring because it was packed away. I of course always bring like her bone like this is a bed of bone. I think I brought two of them, a Nyla bone and a bed of bone or whatever. So I bring two bones and lots of little toys. So she has this little Kong crunchy toy. I have this little giraffe for her. We have like the really long Kong toy. I brought her orange juice that she loves, her Toon Squad, little piggy. And this is a new toy that just got added to her collection. My mom left it on the bed for us whenever we stayed the night. And it's a coronavirus dog toy. This is a new toy for you. I did bring a peanut butter Kong for her. Of course, that's already been eaten and like washed and stuff. But I also brought two of these like braided bully sticks for her. She ate one of them on one day and then I gave her the Kong on the second day. So I still have this one that she never got to eat. So you get to get this one soon. Not right now though. Oh, here's another toy that's hiding. Nice little ball rope so that way we can play some tug. This was her original like blankie that I used to bring with her everywhere. It sat in her crate all the time. So I brought this one because this is just like her original blankie. But I was expecting it to be kind of cold, which it was, especially on, I think it was the first day. It was freezing in the morning. And so I brought this one and I'm glad I did just to have an extra blanket. Because this one's just like a little piece of like fleece from like Joanne Fabrics. So it's not really a blankie, it's just a piece of fabric. <laughs> I brought her Trek bandana that she always wears whenever she comes to events with me. The other things are already put away, but whenever I take her out out now, I like to put her in a harness. Specifically like a front clipping one. It seems to help a lot with her pulling and just like, I don't know, overall like handling. So this is what she wore the entire time at the event. I also had her collar and her leash with this whole set. I'll post a picture of like her in the set and kind of thing. I also brought with me just cause I wasn't sure if I would need it, but I brought my like traffic lead. This one's only like a three foot lead or something like that. This is what I usually use when I take Freya to farmer's markets and stuff. Cause I don't really want her that far away from me. I just wasn't sure what I was gonna be using or what I would need. So I brought it. I ended up not using it. She was 
fine on her full length leash, which was awesome. I always want to be prepared. And then I also brought this, which is one of her like little squeeze pouches. Um, so that way I could fill it with whatever if I needed to, especially like mashed banana, because I usually have bananas at the events. Um, if I needed to go and buy something real quick or whatever, I ended up not using it, never filled it with anything. She did awesome at this event. Again, I just mainly brought it to be prepared. And that is everything that I brought for Freya for the event. Oh, and I also brought, which y'all saw in the videos, I brought the new cot that I bought her at PetSmart. And that was so useful, especially in the morning, especially when it was cold, because it kept her off of the wet, like dewy grass and it was freezing. And so I was able to like lift her off of the grass, which was awesome, and then use this blanket. It also came with like a canopy, but since I put the cot under the tent anyways, I never used like the additional pieces to it, but just the cot itself was so useful. I would 10 out of 10 highly recommend it. I'm definitely gonna be taking it to like every event or just anywhere that's gonna be outside. She definitely caught on really quickly to it being like a bed of sorts. Like if I just pointed at it or if I was like, you know, get up here, go to bed kind of thing. She really caught on as far as like her place command of like where that would be or what I was referring to, even though she's never seen it in her life. She didn't know what to do with it. Even right now, I just said the place and she went and laid down in her bed in the corner. So like she just kind of catches on to where a bed would be or what would be considered a bed in any moment that I'm like, go do this thing. And she liked laying on it and like chewing her bones and you know, eating the Kong and just kind of chilling up there again, keeping her off of the wet ground. So highly recommend, but I think it was like at least 60 or $80, at least for me and my job, like next year, I'm gonna be taking her probably to all the events cause she did really, really well. And that'll be highly used. If you guys have any questions about her at these events or what I bring with me or whatever, please let me know in the comments. Like I'd be happy to answer anything you guys have. And I'm gonna say this now because I know that I'm gonna get questions about it because I still do on every single video is when is Freya videos coming back? Because Freya does have her own channel now. It's called Freya the Floof. She's had her channel for a while. I just haven't been able to post on it. Um, given a lot of the recent life events, I'm still like unpacking, you know? So like, let me get settled here and then we'll start doing everything again, okay? I appreciate y'all's patience and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know and I will see you in the next video. Bye.